Hi there. Now for this question, we're given this diagram which shows a pyramid OABCD in which the vertical edge OD is three units in length. The point E is the center of the horizontal base OABC. And the sides OA and AB have lengths of six units and four units respectively. The unit vectors i, j and k are parallel to the vectors o, a, o, c and o, d respectively. And we've got a couple of questions here. In the first question, we've got to express each of the vectors d, b and d, e in terms of i, j and k for two marks. And then the second part, use a scalar product to find the angle b, d, e for four marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this, haven't done so already, just give you a moment to pause the video. When you come back, I'll give you the numerical solutions. And if you're still stuck, you can go through the work solution with me. OK, welcome back then, if you had a go. Well, the numerical solutions then to part one and part two are the following. The vector d to b is 6i plus 4j minus 3k and d to e is 3i plus 2j minus 3k. And for part two, the angle BDE is 17.2 degrees to three significant figures. OK, well, if you didn't get those, I'll just take you through the work solution. Now, for the first part, OK, part one then, let's put that in. We've got to get the vectors db and de. And to do this, what I imagine, it might be easier if we just kind of think of drawing a cuboid round the figure that we've got. OK, so I'll just do that for you. We've got verticals here. It's going to look something like this and then straight line to there. It's not drawn absolutely accurately, but hopefully it gives you a kind of three dimensional feel for this. OK, so there's our cuboid. So if we're trying to get, in, first of all, from D to B, let's just write D to B here. Then starting at D to get to B, I go in the I direction, six units. So it's going to be six I. That takes me to here, followed by four in the J direction. So that's plus four J. And then I'm at this point here, and I've just got to come down to B. So I'm going in the opposite direction to K by three units. So it's going to be minus 3K. All right. And similarly, if we're going from D to E, E being at the midpoint of the base, then I've got to go three units across here in the I direction. So that's 3I. So I'm here, followed by just two units instead of the four across here, two units across here in the j direction. So that's plus 2j. So I'm at the moment in the middle of this top plane. And then I've just got to go down 2e by minus 3k. OK. So there's our two vectors. Now for the second part of this then, use a scalar product to find the angle BDE. You might, in fact, at this point, want to, again, pause the video and just try and find that angle. OK, welcome back then, if you did have a go at this. So we've got to use the scalar product then for part two, or some people call it the dot product. I'm assuming you're familiar with this, but just as a brief recap, if you've got two vectors A and B, and they make an angle theta with one another. And note the directions, by the way, of our two vectors. They're coming away from this point here. Then the cosine of the angle theta is equal to a dot b divided by the magnitude of a times the magnitude of b, where a dot b is a1 b1 plus a2 b2 plus a3 b3. So it's a result that you should be familiar with. If not, you can always check out tutorials on my website on this. So if we're to find then the cosine of, say, the angle, and this angle would be BDE, okay, BDE, 
let's just put a circumflex over the top there to denote the angle. The cosine of angle BDE then is going to be the dot product of our two vectors. Note that they come away from D, D to B, D to E. That's very important here. So that's D to B dotted with D to E. It doesn't matter whether you do D to E dotted with D to B, you'll still get the same result. And this is divided then by the magnitude of each of the two vectors. That's the magnitude of the vector D to B multiplied by the magnitude then of the vector D to E. Okay, so we've got that. And to do the next part then, we'll just come down here. We've got then the cosine of the angle BDE is equal to then dotting these two vectors together. So we do 6 times 3, so let's just do that, 6 times 3 plus, and then we've got 4 times 2. I'll show the working at this stage, okay, I know we could work it out straight away, but then we've got plus, minus 3 times minus 3. It's just so that I can illustrate how I got the dot product between the two vectors. Now this is divided by the magnitude of each of the vectors and to get the magnitude of each vector we do the square root of the sum of the squares of the component. So that's going to be the root then of 6 squared plus 4 squared plus, and we don't need the negative here, we just have 3 squared. All right. So that's the magnitude of db and we multiply this with the magnitude then of de which will be the roots then of 3 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared. Okay. Now if you work this out, okay, you've got 6 threes are 18 plus 8 plus another 9. That comes to 35. And then the magnitude of db is the root then of 36 plus 16 plus 9, and that comes to root 61. And we're multiplying that by the root of 9 plus 4 plus 9, that's 22. You could in fact do the root of just 61 times 22. It's going to give exactly the same result there. Work this all out, and what you end up with is 0.9554 and so on. So to get the angle BDE, I've just got to inverse cosine both sides. So therefore, the angle BDE is equal to the inverse cosine of 0.9554 and so on. Now it doesn't stipulate in the question whether you give the angle in degrees or radians. So if you're working in degrees, then the answer turns out to be 17.17 and so on, which equals 17.2 degrees to three significant figures. Okay, we'll just put 3SF there for short. Or if you're working in radians and you inverse cosine this, the answer you get is 0 0.2997 and so on. And if you round this to three significant figures, then you get 0 0.300. And that'd be radians. I'll put a little C there for radians, or you could write, write the word radians in. And again, that's to three significant figures, 3SF for short. Okay?